For the duration of the presentation, I will turn off my camera so you can focus on what's going on on my screen here. So without any further ado, let's begin. And let's take a look at what's new in the upcoming update for Sanago Connect. The agenda for this webinar is we'll first take a, at a glance look at the updated features. I will talk through them. We will also take a look at some important things to note after the update arrives. Then I will show you the solution itself. We'll take a look at how things work there. We'll answer the question of when will the update go live? And then we'll have time for questions. The webinar length is probably around 30 minutes. So let's start off with the updated features. Here's the, com well, the list of updates that are included. We have a easier file and exercise management system coming in. We also have a shared folder for schools, which allows you to share materials easily. We have a new and improved exercise editor. We've also included a new image bank, which allows you to add images quickly. You can now also preview the exercise exactly the way students sees them without having to resort to having multiple different accounts or anything like that. We've also added a welcome message option for sessions. The user experience for students has been greatly simplified and improved. And we also have improved monitoring abilities when you're running activities for your students. So let's take a closer look at each section of the updates. Folder structure for files and exercises. This one has been a long time coming in to connect. We've received a lot of requests to add a well, drive-like functionality for Connect. So it's easier to organize all of your exercises, files, audio materials, and videos. You can simply use folders like you do everywhere else as well. This folder structure also applies to a shared folder for schools. Sharing content with your colleagues is now very simple to do. It's a shared folder, which can be accessed by all of the teachers at your institution. You can share things there, and also you can copy content from that location to your own use as well. The exercise editor has also gone through a significant update. It has been completely redesigned and it's faster and easier to use now. We'll take a closer look at this when I open up the solution. The image bank that we've included allows you to, well, you get to choose images from an image bank and you can use them in your exercises to enrich them, perhaps adding them to flashcards or matching pairs as well. We've included the option of using image bank in multiple different places inside Connect. So it should be there when you need it. And this feature is, of course, like all the other features, automatically available to all uh, the institutions who have a Sanaku Connect subscription. The ability to preview as a student has been requested a lot. And now, as a teacher, you get to see the exercise exactly like the students do. You can complete it. You can even do the recordings that your students would be doing. So you actually get to experience the exercise exactly like the students would. And there's no need to create separate accounts or anything like that anymore. This can be done when you're creating the exercise or perhaps previewing the exercise. We've also added the option of including a welcome message. Now this can be rather free form, but you can add images, you can record audio, you can even record a video welcome message for your students. If your students are working asynchronously, for example, 
you could include instructions in the video form. Your students watch the video when they enter the session and they are ready to start working on any of the exercises that you've made available to them. This makes sessions and classes more engaging and also more visual for the students. The student user experience has been greatly simplified. It's been totally redesigned as well. So it makes it much easier for your students to know what to do. And it also makes it easier for you to assist them. Whatever the students see on their screen, you will be able to see reflected on the exercise side of the Connect system. We've also improved the monitoring abilities during live activities. So if you have an activity running, you don't have to return to the class viewer like previously to be able to listen in while your students are completing uh, parts of the activities. You simply have the same controls right next to the student name here in the activity view. So you can listen in, monitor, or offer guidance to your students easily without having to leave the activity to do so. Important thing to note is when the update goes live, this will also affect all of your past sessions. The submissions can now be found under the exercises menu item. So right here in the middle, we see that this exercise has two submissions. We can take a closer look at this once we take a look at the solution itself. But all of your submissions are still there, of course. Everything will be retained, just converted to this new and easier format that Connect uses. Another thing we've changed is that exercises are now shared automatically if you add them to a session or create them. This makes it very easy to add exercises to a session and you don't necessarily even have to log in to that session as a teacher. You have those exercises right there and they are ready to be completed by your students. So let's take a look at the upcoming version next. I've already logged in to my Sonaka Connect system. And right here at the top, we've simplified things. We now only have two different submenu items. This is, of course, the session creation window. Some minor changes here as well, but let's take a look at the file system. So for that, we clicked on exercises, and this is what we see. Right now, I have folders right here. I get to decide how I create the folders. I can organize everything exactly the way I want. I can also easily just drag and drop stuff here from my computer, for example. Or if I want to create audio or video files that I'll be using when creating exercises, I can do that right here as well. Now the My Exercises part is here on the left as well. And below that, there's a shared with me school. This is the school shared folder. So all the teachers at your institution will be able to add materials here. If your institution already has a huge bank of audio materials, video files, text files, image files, whatever you use, in a language lab or in a language teaching platform, you can simply store them here. You can drag and drop all of the files at your institution here and all of the teachers can see the files, can copy them over to their own exercises area as well. So it's very easy to use. It works exactly like any folder system in any other system that has folders. Let's then take a look at the exercise editor here. The exercise editor allows you to create, well, basically any kind of exercise you want. We've reworked the system based on your feedback. So the different exercise parts that you can use to create your exercise 
are always visible right here when you're creating the exercise. So all you have to do is either click or drag and drop and the parts appear here. Let's take a look at one of my pre-made exercises. For narrating an audio book, we're going to preview the exercise as a student. So this is exactly how your students would see the exercise as well. They see the instructions. I can record myself if I want as the teacher. My recording appears here. I can listen back to it, make sure that everything is exactly like I want. I can even click on submit, which would send it back to the teacher for preview, uh, for review. We can reset that preview and complete the exercise again if we make any changes. So we have all of those options available right there. I also mentioned the image bank. So we can find it right here. Right now, let's find a picture of a sunset. It has a huge amount of images ready to be used in your exercise creation or in your activities. So all you have to do is pick the images here and that would be added to your exercise area or the folder that you're currently in as well. For the next part, I'm going to enter this session as a teacher. We've added the join button here, so you no longer have to click on the three dots right there. When I enter the session as a teacher, this is what I see. The menu at the top has been, again, simplified by quite a bit. We now have the student. We can see the class view right here. And then we have the exercise creation area and sharing area as well. Like I mentioned earlier, the submissions can now be found here. So if your students return assignments to you for review, you can find them here, right next to the exercise. It's a much more convenient way than having a separate menu item for that exercise. The welcome message that I mentioned is right here. As a teacher, I've created a welcome message for my students. I've recorded a video with instructions for my students, and they will see these instructions when they enter this session. So let's take a look at this from a student's perspective. Familiar login light right here. So we have a student coming in. They see the instructions and the video the first time they enter this session. They can easily minimize it. And what they see is what you have on your exercises. They can see the exercises that have been shared and can immediately access them. One small change here as well is that we remove the need for your students to click on start when starting to work on an exercise. We feel that clicking on an exercise probably means that the student wants to actually start working on that exercise. So the exercise is immediately loaded and is ready to be used or complete. Let's take a look at the monitoring options that we have available now. So I'm going to launch a quick, let's launch an image description task. I'm going to use a file from my computer, but I could just as well use anything that I've stored in the My Exercises folder. We'll launch the activity. Those of you who have already used Connect know that this exact image is now displayed on the student screens. I can turn on the recording. And if I want to listen to my single student 
that's currently in this session, I have the ability to do so right here. I can click here to listen to the student, or I can click on the microphone button to speak with the student in question. I also have the option of sending direct messages or other student controls available to me while an activity is running. This makes it much easier to actually monitor your students while you're completing an activity. Okay, moving on. The question of when will the update go live for me is probably what everyone wants to know. We've scheduled the update to go live during the week, starting on the 7th of October. We will be sending messages your way, letting you know when the actual update is being applied. But we're going to be doing that during the weekend when usage of Connect is probably very low as well. Okay, thank you. That would conclude the presentation part.